哋嚟落少少小艺行者，出发！交嘢放電咧，俾佢哋見識多啲啦，亦都係俾佢體會一下啦。係啊，咁希望就係呢一個咁嘅毅行精神咧，個堅持咧，繼續傳承落去咯。唔單止係我哋嘅小朋友咯，其實喺呢個社會上邊咧，希望一個正能量俾佢哋，個個都可以係做到毅行者嘅。最緊要自己有個信心同埋有個自信。落少呢個小小毅行者咁就帶翻起我哋嘅初心啊，行山嘅初心咁就想都想俾小朋友一齊去行，傳承即係呢個毅行者呢樣嘢俾俾小朋友識。我都想，即係我我僆仔或者我細小朋友，遲早有翻呢個興趣咯。咁其實由細培養係係好應該嘅。我Hi, good evening, everyone. Can you imagine that we have walkers under 18 years old walking along the trail? That's our event, Oxford Mini Trail Walker, that was launched in May, and having having over 1,700 participants joining us too. Okay, so here is another event we have launched in early years, which is Oxford Trail Walker virtually together. I'm Cindy from Oxford. Welcome to the Oxford Trail Walker 2021 Walkers Briefing. Having gone through these two unusual years, we have launched two new events that you have just watched from the video just now, which is Oxford Mini Trail Walker, which is launched in May to, um, 2021, and also Oxford Trail Walker Virtually Together that we launched in February to March early this year. We have changed our event format and target audience flexibly. So we provide more options to walkers and invite the family and kids to join the journey. It was really fun and popular. So talking about tonight, we got a very informative sharing. 
firstly, we will, we will share about um, different new arrangements about event this year. For example, the hygiene measures and health tips, which most of you were concerned so much about COVID-19 vaccination and test requirements. We also talk about the route of checkpoints, such as a new arrangement regarding the starting checkpoint three and finishing point. We got totally new arrangement this year. We also got more food and water supplies at checkpoints and because the support team this year are not encouraged. So let's welcome Ms. Brenda Wong, fundraising manager of Oxfam to share the event details for us. Brenda, please. Thank you. Oh, hi, hi Walkers. How are you? How's life? Really good, right? <laughs> okay, so finally we're back, uh, this trail walker. So I think most of you will be very concerned about that if it's really going on to happen this year. So what I'm, I would like to share in the very beginning is we've been trying very, very hard uh, applying for what we call the exemption under this uh, gathering band because we have this uh, COVID thing and for any big events like trail walker, we need a, a, an exemption from the government. So we've been walking, working on that for a few months and I think it's like 100% for sure, we will get that uh, approval. So it's just waiting for something uh, written from the government. So that's why we've been uh, informing you all the way and we are having this briefing tonight. So, Hope you will enjoy tonight and uh, we hope you will also listen and uh, watch carefully and uh, for any question do um how to say uh let us know through the chat box okay first of all as you can see the lineup we have all the sponsor back again and we even have new ones like uh the pukari because we need more of the powder this year because you don't have your uh, support team. And that's why we have a new company sponsoring. And uh, some old friends like uh, AIA, of course, and uh, CAFE, and CLP, HKT, Columbia, uh, Nature Village, ProTrack, uh, everyone. So I would let, I, would, we, I, I hope you feel that everybody is still supporting Trailwalker, especially those uh, big companies in Hong Kong. And, uh, Next, hey, not moving. Not. Yeah, okay. The slide is not working. Oh, okay. Now move it. Okay. So it's all about you, Trailwalker. I'm still very curious to know why people join Trailwalker. Although I did it once myself, but it's at a much easier Austrian Trailwalker in France, which is uh, how to say. Um, it's just uh, one third of the difficulty of the Hong Kong one. So I don't know your answer, but uh, my teams and me, we think it's all about teamwork. It's all about uh, a, a achieving a goal. And it's all about never give up, no matter what are the challenges, what are the difficulties. And this is the true moment because everyone wants to reach the finish, right? <laughs> So it's really a happy moment. So I hope uh, that's what you look for. And, um, and also, I, I hope you also know the, the true meaning of trail walker. And that's why this year we have this theme, uh, trail walker with you the, through the ups and downs. And uh, in, in Chinese, it means um, even more because I, it's, it, I don't know how many of you understand Chinese. It's um, uh, so we want to communicate that no matter how the world changes around us, trail walkers is always there. It's always there because we have friends, we have um, volunteers, we have trail walkers, we have so many people supporting the event. And uh, this is a slide telling you the money you raise will help, will be helping many, many people, especially those in Hong Kong. So I hope you will find some time to read it in details. Here, I don't spend too much time. And also because the, the reason why you're joining, because you're part of something much bigger, all right? Because uh, Trail Walker originated from Hong Kong in 81, and then it keep expanding, growing, and uh, it's all ori originated from Hong Kong. And uh, for now, it's more than like 100, I think 10, 10 trail walkers around the world. 
And although we, we, we have difficulties in 2019 and 2020, but we keep doing new things as Cindy has mentioned. So we are really confident this year we will make a comeback, a very beautiful comeback this year. So being part of something much bigger and which is really international, we really originate from Hong Kong. We hope you also share the same, the same uh, pride with us. <laughs> Okay, so this is about the skill this year. So um, about trail walker because of the all the uh, COVID and all the rules and regulations. So we have to cut down the event, the scale from uh, 13,000 people in the past to close to 5,000 this year. So it's like half of the scale, but it's still a very big scale, all right? It's like close to 5,000 people. And uh, we hope everybody will, will, will sort of cooperate with us along the, the 100K and uh, throughout the time so that we can have a very safe and happy event for everybody, which is really, really important for us. And then about the, the, the trail, this is the same old trail. There are minor adjustments that I will share later. But after all, it's the whole Mapley Hole Trail, uh, the, the, uh, section one to nine of the Mapmeho Trail, and the later part along the Talam Chong Reservoir. So it's a lot of work. It's, it's, it's a challenge. It's a huge challenge. For those of you who are doing it for the first time, I just want to pre warn it. Uh, John will share more later about the difficulties. But uh, it's going up and down 23 mountains in Hong Kong, including the highest one, the Tai Mo Shan. So it's, it's, um, this is about trail walker. It's, this is what you have signed up for. Hope you will enjoy it. Uh, the date, your big dates. Uh, here we really want to thank uh, AIA again. You will know we have uh, more things to thank them this year. I uh, will come to that later. But really with, uh, without support like AIA and other sponsors, we can really cannot make this happen because um, we need to have uh, corporate support to make an uh, event like Trail Walker to happen every year. And uh, this year, unlike previous year, where we have a hard copy of the, uh, the booklet, this year we only have the e-copy because things keep changing every day. <laughs> so we just thought it's not um, feasible to have a hard copy long time ago. So we have an e-copy so that we can keep updating as things are changing with time. And we will have the most updated information for everybody. So this is our agenda to, the, to tonight. I'll come to them one by one. So very top of mind, uh, in order to be allowed or to be approved to do trail walker, we need to get a, an exemption. We need to get government approval. And we have all these measures and requirements. So I'll go through them, the big things, and uh, they will be keep changing. So they are actually quite normal and uh, common sense things that I think everybody in Hong Kong are get used to now. So please, please, uh, we, do, we know it's, it's sort of, how to say, uh, causing inconvenience. And sometimes maybe some people don't feel so, so good with it, like we, we know that people uh, like trail walkers, they, 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 they just love their support team. But this year we, we said we, we strongly advise not to have support team. And then in, in replace, we will have more uh, food items and drinks that I will, came to, uh, I will come to later. But really, really, we need your understanding and your cooperation this year. So that we, we make, firstly, we make trail walker happen and then we make it happen smoothly for everybody. And uh, so before the event, you need to have every participant need to have full vaccination. And the date to remember is the 4th of November, okay? So you need to be fully vaccinated, the latest by the 4th of November, okay? And then on the 5th to the 7th, you have to come to our office I don't know if we can, we can send representatives or everybody. Uh, we will answer that question later, okay? So you need to show us the vaccination record. So, so the message here is 
no change of member allowed after the 4th of November, okay? So, and then uh, the following two pages is, is a list of things that you can read yourself. But um, about the, the vaccination, you, you have to give us the record uh, from the government. And then you also need to do the uh, testing, the, the COVID test 48 hours um, before the event. So that will mean you have to collect your specimen and uh, submit it to us uh, the 17th of November. So, so on, on the day of uh, 5th to 7th of November, when you come to us, you'll be given each team or each worker will be given a pack like this, a pack like this, okay? And then inside it, there are a few things, uh, a, a big bag containing the bottle for collecting the specimen and also a paper cup for collecting the saliva and then a, a small sheet giving the details or the instructions on uh, collecting your specimen. So what you need to do is on the day of 17th November, um, my advice would be to, to put this set in a safe place in your toilet. So the first thing you do that morning is you collect your specimen because you need to collect your saliva um, two hours before eating or drinking anything, right? Or even be before you brush your teeth, right? Okay, so, so the, the instruction is all here, okay? So uh, the reminder here is uh, after collecting your specimen, close the, the bottle very uh, properly so that there will be no leakage, and then put it in a small bag and then I put it in a big bag again, and then uh, we have five places that you can hand in your specimen. That five places we will announce later. Okay, so the red things, I, so the, the other thing you can read yourself. Uh, and then uh, we want to thank uh, AIA again, because the original plan is uh, teams will have to pay for the test. And then later on, uh, AIA said, uh, why don't we pay for it? And then we asked, we said, well, that's really pleased. <laughs> so they will pay for all the, all the cost of uh, the testing. So we, we have to thank them again. And uh, if unfortunately anybody has a positive test, that the report that we we'll receive on the 18th of November, and if we show positive, as, and then that team will have to not join in this year. And uh, if that really happened, what we can do is to reserve a team place for, for uh, shut uh, teams. So we, we hope that will not happen to your team. Okay. And uh, on the day, uh, only the registered participants and the working personnel can enter our start point, our finish point and a checkpoint. And also uh, we really discourage support team this year. So, uh, but instead we will provide more food and drink items that I will list out later. So these are, are the uh, details. I just walked through those uh, really important things, but I hope you can spend time reading through. So uh, the, the, the thumb of the rules is to have your face mask on and to use a, a hand a sanitizer as, as frequently as possible whenever you're entering the, the start point, the finish point, and the checkpoints, because those are the points where people are gathering together. So it's really to protect you and to protect our volunteers. And of course, also to fulfill the, the requirement from the government. And at the start and the finish, we need to have a temperature, temperature check for everybody. And uh, unlike previous year, we, where we have an exciting countdown, uh, at a starting ceremony this year, we cannot have that. And again, at the finish point, we cannot present a certificate right away uh, you finished. Instead, we will send over the e-copy uh, certificate. But of course, you need a hard copy from us. You can just uh, email us and we will still uh, uh, send you a hard copy. And uh, those are normal rules are 1.5 meters apart, so I don't get into details. And another thing different from previous year is um, for all the water or the food and breakfast item, 
uh, volunteer uh, participants should not touch them. Instead, our volunteers will will uh, ref, how to say will operate the water taps and also to distribute the items so that people don't touch those items and to prevent cross contamination. Okay, and the, the 12 points is about do bring your own because we don't want those blankets. You, I don't know if you use uh, those blankets at trail workers before because uh, somebody use it and then the later team use it again. So for hygiene reasons, so we, we don't want to provide it this year. Is that please bring your own jackets and also bring your own bottle and container and utensils for eating. And for for say for uh, minimizing the the waste, but also for for hygiene reason. Okay, the root uh, is the same root, only with a small adjustment. And for those who are new to trail walker, just to remind you that there are some differences between trail walker root and a McMahon root. So it's all listed here. So please uh, read. Uh, in detail by yourself. And we have two water points, same as before, uh, at the end of the high island reservoir and uh, at, at the one um, after you descended Needle Hill. So we have water there so that you don't have to carry that much because it's really heavy. Okay, now we'll, I'll walk you through from the very start to the finish point. Okay, from the start point, uh, the thing to remember is uh, on that day, the 19th of November, um, hope you have a good sleep and then you go to the start point. The first place to report to is inside the Poland Pop Camp. Okay, you need to have your number bib uh, shown to our volunteers. And then uh, there will be a uh, machine to check the temperature. And if everything okay, you will be allowed inside the campsite. And then you can wait. Number two is waiting, waiting and outside the uh, registration area. And then about time is about uh, just 45 minutes uh, before your start time, you can enter this area. So gather four members, have your bib ready, and you also need to have a health declaration record that we will share the link later that you can do the record um, digitally so that record can be stored in your phone. So what you need to do is to show your phone to our volunteers. And then um, this year, you also need to show your ID or passport so that we check the identity. So make sure that if you register if with your ID number or your passport number, then you bring uh, the, the right uh, document to the start point for checking, okay? So after all these checking, um, a bracelet will be given. So with a with a uh, a number bib, it shows that you have that vaccination, and with the bracelet, it shows that you have done the testing and be uh, negative. Okay, so with these two things, you can start the event. Okay, so and then after registration, you go to what we call the start waiting area. This is the photo of that area. So again, you, you stay there and get the four members, uh, show your babe, show your bracelet, and then you will gain access into that this waiting area. And then about 15 minutes before your start time, you'll be lining up like this. So you will see it's four team in one row, and we have calculated that space. So that space at that lawn will be able to accommodate like um, 30 teams at one go. So, so the way to start this year is um, about one team. I think two teams start in one minute, is it? About. So because there will be no closure, no closure, meaning cars, especially um, buses, are running along the Taiwan Chai Road. So, so walkers have to walk along the, uh, the walkway, the pedestrian, so not to run into the cars and also to, to maintain the social distancing. Okay, so, and also to remind that you, you have to have your mask on all the way in this area until you hit 
uh, marker post zero zero one. So it's some distance from the start point. Okay, so this is the summary of the start. So you have your bib, and then have your health declaration, your ID or passport, and then you obtain a bracelet. You fetch your water from our volunteers. You do your stretching. You go to the world from the, the and then uh, after all, follow the instruction from our our uh, volunteers on site. And then off you go. Start. Okay, uh, checkpoint one. The same checkpoint one, but uh, uh, at the uh, Saiwan village. It's the same place, uh, very beautiful, and now a lot more uh, silent, I would say, <laughs> but still very beautiful place. So we will provide water there, and then you can buy food from the stores. Uh, the reminder here is you don't have to follow the Mapiho Trail strictly, but rather you can pass through the beach. So it's a bit shorter than the Mapiho Trail. And then you arrive in checkpoint two. There will be some rearrangement of this checkpoint that um, after going up that pagonia and then you go down and then you get the water and the food and then you cross the road and then off you go. So if anybody needing medical supplies this year, a medical assistant at checkpoint two this year, they will have to uh, go across the road. If not, you just go across the road and then head to uh, checkpoint three. Checkpoint two, okay. Checkpoint three, okay, it's new. It's new for many of you, but it might be old to somebody who has joined uh, Trail Walker many, many years ago. Because this year due to COVID, we cannot use the barbecue area. We cannot use the barbecue area along the Saisha Road. So rather we have borrowed, the, borrowed a place from the AFCD, the management center. It's actually their office. So I'll show you. So after crossing Saisa Road, okay, then you go inside this gate. So it will be open at the only open on the event day. Okay. And uh, after finishing all the registration, a uh, check-in, and then you get your food, your water, get some rest, and everything inside this medical center. So the reminder here is here is because we're we are borrowing a place, an office from the from the AFCD. So please um, do not go beyond those uh, designated area um, because we, we have promised that we will use only a certain area, but not all the areas in the center. Okay. And then after uh, using the checkpoint and then you come out again and then you head for the old checkpoint area and then you head for check us. Uh, they go checkpoint seven, uh, checkpoint four. Okay, is that clear? If not clear, please uh, uh, ask in our chat box. We will explain in further details. Okay, and then um, some other re reminder for checkpoint three is the nearby um, car park will be closed. And then at the end and entrance of this checkpoint is uh, all loading and loading parking strictly um, prohibited. And then um, after checkpoint three, it's actually a very, very long way that you're going to checkpoint four, the gay world camp. So same as previous year, there will be uh, Chinese soup and siu mai. Uh, I think uh, in the evening of Friday to sometime around Saturday. So we'll provide the information later. Checkpoint four is renowned for a high, uh, uh, how to say, um, dropout withdrawal. So please, please uh, hang on and uh, take some rest, have some soup, and and try to support each other. You will get through this checkpoint. And after checkpoint four, is a reminder here is we same as before. We have a penalty point because there is a very tempting uh, shortcut after passing checkpoint four, which is um, uh, at uh, Mount Tate to to avoid the Mount Tate, and that's why we set up a, a penalty point around M zero nine nine to ensure that all walkers will do will take the correct route, which is the green one. Okay. So if anybody taking this 
shortcut. Uh, that team will be will have a uh, hundred and twenty minutes added to the finishing time. Oh, is this one is holding the screen? Can you see it? Okay. Okay. So, so do not take shortcuts. The message is: do not take shortcuts. Okay. And um, also after checkpoint four. We have some uh, traffic control along uh, the um, shark team pass and along the uh, lion pavilion. This is uh, exactly the same arrangement as before. So really do not ask people to drive there. So no cars allowed, there'll be traffic control, same as before. This is uh, what it will look like on the event day. Okay, then quickly you go to checkpoint five uh, which is a small one. Um, and luckily, this year we don't have uh, those uh, delicious uh, uh, sweet potato soup because uh, cooking is not allowed on the webs uh, on the on site this year. So instead, we will have some bread, uh, some some drinks here. But this is a small checkpoint. Hope you just hit and then you go. And then after descending checkpoint five. Uh, Please use the footbridge to cross Typo Road, which is a very, very busy highway. Okay, and uh, there will be traffic control again. The road will be closed uh, along the Golden Hill Road or called the Camp Sand Road, same as before. And um, entering checkpoint six, uh, same as we, I, I will, I will share later. We will have a rice ball again, but. Sorry, no noodle this year uh, at checkpoint six. And then uh, after six, you go to seven, which is a very uh, challenging checkpoint because after checkpoint seven, you need to go up uh, the time ocean. So this, you already done like 70K, a long way have been done, but still not a, not a short way to go. So this is a checkpoint where I, see many trail walkers, um, how to say, uh, questioning themselves why they are doing this event. But uh, don't question, just go on, just um, keep uh, keep going uh, one step by one step. I, can, I, think, I think John can share more. Uh, this is a very challenging checkpoint as I can see, I can see in, uh, in previous year. Okay, after descending Time Ocean, uh, we, we change from the Medley Hole Trail. We use the vehicle road like this, meaning along the Time Ocean Road, meaning not using the Medley Hole Trail. Okay, and then this is checkpoint eight. Um, uh, this year, I think it will not be as crowded as this page, uh, this photo shows. So it will be less crowded and uh, uh, besides this checkpoint, there is Linze. So if you want some more, uh, uh, how to say, delicious food, you can go to Linze. Uh, and also there will be another kiosk uh, down to where Linze was. Checkpoint seven. Okay. And then after checkpoint eight, sorry, it's after checkpoint eight, you, and another uh, reminder about uh, check, this checkpoint is the Tam Ocean Road will be closed. No vehicles can go inside and we don't have a shuttle to this uh, checkpoint again because uh, this year because uh, the uh, support team are not advised are not uh, encouraged this year anyway we we ask all drivers not to drive to this area not to drive to checkpoint eight and then you go down the track side the, the forest track to checkpoint nine which look like this uh okay uh, the reminder here is, again, there is a very, very tempting uh, shortcut, but we will prevent that. The, the shortcut is where you take the arrow, uh, take the, the cross, which is not allowed. It. You need to turn left to along the Thai Mo, Thai Lam Chung Reservoir. And uh, not far away, another tempting shortcut, which is not allowed. It. Instead, um, you will have to pass through a a control point between nine and finish. So anybody not 
passing through the control point will have 120 minutes added to the finishing time. Okay, so the uh, control point is here. So that will make sure every team will go through this control point. Okay, and then um, not long, you will be arriving the finish point. So it still called the Poland Cook Thailand Thai Tong campsite, but it's a different level. It's a completely different site inside the campsite. I'll show you later. This is the, the map, the map, but how it looks, I'll, I'll show you later. So, but uh, before that, you need to know how to get inside. It's not working. Okay. So you, you left checkpoint nine and then you pass through um, what we call the, to your right hand side is the Tai Tong, Siu Hao Chan, Tai Tong barbecue site. So where you see the notice board and then you just keep going, keep going until you see another notice board. So behind this notice board is a kiosk. Okay, so everybody who knows the area well will know there is a kiosk. So you turn right inside that towards the kiosk area, but you don't go to the kiosk, but you go a bit left to the kiosk and then you go down the stairs here. So it'll be very, very dark and the, the steps are quite big. So please be careful when you come to this point. Walk down the stairs. It's about, I don't know how many stairs, maybe 50s. Uh, it's quite long and big steps. So please be careful. And then when you come to the end of that staircase, you will see a place like this. So we will try, we will try to lit it up uh, during the event so that you see some light um, heading to the finish point. And then you turn right, turn right. And then you see this uh, gate, but on the day it will be far open. It will be open for you to enter. And then you keep going, uh, but, but before entering the finish point, Make sure you have 40 members, you have your bib with you, put on your mask and then you have to check your temperature again and then you can get inside. And then uh, we'll put an arch like this at an open area. So we will not use an indoor area this year, no indoor area, okay? And uh, very special this year, I don't know if you see this uh, small, small, how to say, small thing. It's a Finnish medal. <laughs> it's very special this year. Also sponsored by AIA because uh, we thought it's a really, really special year to, to remember. So colleagues uh, convinced AIA to produce uh, this very special edition of the model, uh, of the medal to, to, to award those uh, finishing. So look like the uh, Olympic Games that the four of you will present the, the medal uh, uh, among you instead of <laughs> having guests to come. So hope you all hit, can hit there to go to the finish and uh, get your medal. Okay, this is uh, photos from uh, previous year, but uh, this year we hope everybody will put on the mask. Okay, a special year to remember. So uh, for those new, I remember that the finishing time of the team is the finishing time of the last walker, meaning the slowest walker. Okay, and then please show your bit again and then the machine will re record your finishing time. And this year we cannot present the certificate, cannot present, instead we will uh, email to the team leader. And uh, after finishing the, the event, uh, there will be a shuttle taking everybody to the Tin Shui Wei station. Okay, so we hope you take some rest, eat something, drink something, and then uh, recover a bit, and then uh, take the shuttle, and then uh, go back to town, go back to home. And uh, we'll have a shuttle running uh, from the evening of November, of uh, Friday up to the afternoon of uh, Sunday. And if you don't want to take shuttle, you can take uh, public buses. These are the information uh, you can read yourself. Uh, the reminder here for the finish this year is there will be no parking, absolutely no parking. No cars can enter the finish point, okay? And um, 
And we actually worked with uh, the parties in Yunnan for quite a long time. And we found that the area uh, in Tai Tong and also in the Yunnan area, especially on weekends, is, um, is terribly, terribly uh, congested on weekends. So do not drive to finish point and even do not drive to Yunnan, really, because that will uh, waste your time. And um, if you really have friends or, or your family driving you home, ask them to go to Tin Shui Wai station and ask them to wait for you there. So that will be easier, okay? If you have any difficulties going there, I think these days are really, really easy. You just Google, uh, Google Map, Google Earth, and then you see the places. So find a good place to wait for, uh, to wait for you to, to, to take your home by vehicles. Don't go to, don't go and come to the finish and don't drive into the Yunnan town area. It's really a, a nightmare that I experienced myself um, feel uh, many weeks because my, my parents, my, my mother still live in Yunnan. Okay, so some reminder at the checkpoint, the thing is uh, you, the four of you has to be together all the way, all the way. If not, you cannot get through the checkpoint, okay? Must be together all the way. This is about trail walker. And then uh, at the checkpoint, you will get your timing by uh, our volunteer will hold a thing called the nano, which is a timing device to scan the chip at your hip. And uh, so that is really to ensure the four person is together, the four members of the team is together and then get scanned at the same time. So the timing, I think is okay. Okay, and uh, this year we cannot have uh, some, some services with uh, bodily touch, like physio, podiatrist, uh, Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine, toila, which is massage. So no, no, no such services this year. Uh, sorry about that, but um, that is a requirement. Okay, rules and regulations and at checkpoint, so I just gone through how you, you will uh, experience the start and then the checkpoint and then the finish. But if unfortunately anybody of the team need to withdraw, please uh, report to the checkpoint and then cut the bracelet and then, um, and then uh, got a dropout certificate. So those continuing have to carry that certificate with them to show to a subsequent checkpoint. But if unfortunately anybody need to, to, to quit the event in between, so there will be a emergency number printed on your bracelet. So call that number to inform us. And for those who are new or who, who do not know uh, the trail worker trail well, I just want to remind, uh, re, re, remind chapter one, five, six, seven, and nine are uh, in as in as in as in accessible inaccessible by by uh, transport. Please, so meaning don't quit there. So if unfortunately you you cannot continue, quit at the same moon uh, barbecue area, for example. Or you cannot continue, quit at typo road, don't quit at uh, checkpoint six, okay? And then if you only have two members remaining, you have to join other people to be seen. You have more than two persons with you to pass the checkpoint. Okay, we have 15 minutes left. <laughs> okay, I try to be quick. Okay, let's go back to the very basic rules and regulations. It's four person in a team always and have to finish 100K within 48 hours. And then everybody has to raise a minimum sponsor of 7,600. 7, but there are some pledge team who are really good, who, who pledge to raise uh, 72,000. So these are the minimum sponsorship that we hope every team can raise because it's all about helping people. So. Um, we, we hope you enjoy the event and then uh, you will also raise a donation to, for OSFAM's uh, projects. Change of member. So if uh, from now until the 19th of uh, October, 
if you want to change, it's still free of charge. But beyond that, you need to pay $200 per person. So really, we hope you don't change. Uh, but if really necessary, you have to uh, do it around this period. And the reminder again is after the 4th of November, no change uh, accepted because of the vaccination uh, requirement. Uh, this is about the payment, so you can read yourself. Uh, again, if somebody uh, withdrawing, you need to uh, write an email to us. But if anybody do not write to us and just withdraw um, uh, a notice or just on the day, they still, they still need to fulfill the minimum uh, information requirement because we don't want to waste the uh, trail worker slots. Okay, and this year, uh, just at a one glance, let, let you know that in the past, we have 5,200 people, but this year we have 2,400 workers. So the scale would be much smaller, half, but still we thought uh, it's still a lot of people on the trail. We need to manage it well. And instead of five badges, this year, the workers will start in 27 badges. So the, the timetable would like, look like this. So we hope you will arrive the Pak Tem Chong uh, campsite not too early. Because, um, or if you want to come early, it's still okay because it's a, a large area inside that campsite. You can, you can uh, do things inside the campsite. But the registration is like 45 minutes before your start time. So we'll keep reminding the teams. Okay, food and water really important this year. But uh, at the beginning, I still want to remind that we will not provide paper cups or other disposable detention. Uh, I, not really this year, because due to hygiene, some sponsor they might provide. And uh, for example, like the bread, it has to be individually packed this year. So we are sorry about that, but we, we need to do that. Uh, but please bring your own uh, container or utensil as much as possible. So I'll show you the list. And, uh, but please be reminded that they are subject to changes. So the, the thing we do more this year is um, we water like before, and then we have Pokari uh, sweat at more checkpoint. And then uh, we have rice balls at more checkpoint at two, three, six, and seven. And then we have cup noodles and at seven and at four and seven. Okay. And then we have bread instead of those slices where you have a peanut butter uh, jam. No, it's not like that this year. We have a small buns. I'll show you the picture. And then we have uh, same at uh, checkpoint four has soup and then siu mai. And then we have fruits, more fruits uh, this year at the checkpoint. And then we have some crackers, some uh, chocolate, and uh, some, some small things. So, so we will keep updating this, this uh, table. But it's, it's by and large, uh, this um, concept, we'll try to provide more uh, cargo along the trail so that you, 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 don't have your, you don't need your support team that much. And of course, at the finish point, we have the food truck, but that is a paid service available on a Saturday. So we hope they can provide more delicious things. Okay. And some photos, uh, we are sourcing for some rice noodle, uh, rice balls, and uh, the noodles look like this, and then the, the bread, and then the fruits, we are considering banana, uh, yeah. Mandarin, pear, apple, da, da. so the idea is we'll have something everywhere so that you feel, um, how to say, uh, you can have enough uh, food and then uh, drink and then you feel supported. And uh, maybe my personal advice is maybe you bring some nuts with you. We try to get some, somebody to sponsor the nuts or we buy something but we cannot sort it out yet. So these are the things we, we, we sort it out by this time. So we'll keep improving, we'll keep, but we'll let you know the latest, the latest, um, the most updated table. So the idea is we'll let you know what we have at a checkpoint 
and then we'll let you know the quantity. Like the, the noodle is a big one. We can have one, one bottle, one, one noodle for one walker. And for the rice bowl, we have two pieces for each walker. So we will have all this information ready later. So we try to tell you everything and then you try to figure out your own need and then you maybe you can bring your own uh, to supplement. So we're really sorry that you cannot have your support team this year. We know how important your support team are for you, but uh, this year we really cannot have them as much. Although we cannot enforce them, and that's why we say it's uh, encouraged, but really use your own common sense and try to cooperate with us so that we can, we can have a smooth event and then we have, can have a happy event for everybody. So these are the items we are providing. Okay, safety measures is, is the old thing. Um, the most important thing is to know the route well yourself. Okay, and then we have the marker post. In the beginning is M001 to M174. And then at the later part, we will have the OT.175 to 196. So follow them, follow them. So that you're on the right track. So if anything happened, tell us, and then um, please ensure to accompany your workers if they have problem, do not uh, abandon anybody. So if possible, if really, really, uh, if, if uh, somebody get injured or have problem, assist the person to the nearest checkpoint so that uh, our safety people or our rescue people can help other people who are in more serious cases. So in case you call the 999, please quote that you're a trail worker because we will have a coordination with the 999 um, center. Okay, uh, donations are important. I think I, I will not go through them uh, one by one, but the important reminder is please hand in your donation um, one month after the event, which is the 21st of December. And these are the information that I don't need to go into details, okay? Uh, this is the form, if you need it, you can download it from the website. And then uh, some uh, awards and you can read it yourself. And the message is, is if you raise again 36,000, you will get one guaranteed a slot for next year. And then you can have some entered lucky draw to, to win various prices including the catch coupon and the Asia miles and, uh, and also a Theragun this year, right? Okay, so, so hope you can try your best to raise donation. And really that's for, for supporting Ausfans projects. Okay, other, other important matters. Um, on the 5th and to the 7th, you need to come to us to collect the, your, 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 um, your, how to say, the, the, the pack. Yeah. And uh, also you tap the, the, also the testing kit. And also you need to show us your vaccination record. So please reserve those three days. And then we have a souvenir. This is the tea this year. Uh, John will put it on and then you can see later. And then we have a medal only for those finishing. And then the, the, the items below you can buy, you can buy from us. But for the t-shirt and the medal, it's just for the registered, registered workers. Okay, non-smoking and also, although it's, it's a very, um, how to say, how to a, an event a very hard to, to organize this year, but yet we still want it to be how to say environmentally friendly. So that so meaning we are still insisting that for items that we are giving out, we will write a team number on that, and then we will have volunteers uh, picking refuge after the the event, uh, following the last walker. So if we pick them up. And then the team number and the name of the team will be, will be how to say broadcast on our website. Sorry about that, but I ju we just want to show that we are really serious about the environment. Vitality Award. So for those of you who have four members totally new to trail walkers, 
we want you, we hope you can join this uh, award, uh, awarded by AIA. So the details you can read by yourself. If you win that, you can, can have 5,000 in cash and uh, AIA will donate 50,000 on your behalf to Austin Projects. So, so it's really good. So all you have to do is to show uh, the differences of um, before and after. So after joining Trailwalker, what are the differences in your mindset, in your training, in your diet, in your exercise, or even in your weight, everything, or in your body shape? So do share your stories to win this award. Okay, so this is the way to join it. Okay, you got a team page and um, to and also you are encouraged to share your team's participation via your Facebook, IG, or Twitter. Okay, so this is about the finishing rate in the past year. So it's really it's actually not low. We are the, the highest among all the trail walkers uh, globally. So we hope this year we will have a high completion rate, be it full team or individually. So of course we look for full team. Actually, we, 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 we guess that there will be quite a high um, finishing rate this year because uh, most of teams are repeated teams this year. Okay, uh, one sharing from a book I read. So when you're passionate in achieving a goal, all beings, in the universe will converge to help you achieve it. I personally believe this uh, truly. So uh, I hope you will share this and uh, at least you, you, you feel that all the trail, walk, uh, trail walker staff, our volunteers, even our vendors, our contractor, I, I would say even the trees and the mountains along the trail will want you to finish. That's my feeling. I hope you will share that. And one final thing about this year is we are, we are at this new normal, this uh, COVID, this uh, epidemic, pandemic things. The, the Chinese saying, okay, so I said, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. So, in the sense of the people, they are not going to be able to do it. Let me say it once again in English. So, because it's, it's, a, it's a very um, unusual time that we are at. So we, I think to be very mindful and to be really here and now for every moment is really important. So what I'm saying is, because you don't have your support team this year, and then when you come to a checkpoint, you might not have the flavor of the, the cup noodle you like, or you don't have the fruits that you, you like. So come what may, take whatever you, you come into when you come to the checkpoint. And it's a difficult year for us and for our volunteers. So please, please remember to, to say thank you to, to our workers, uh, to, our, um, to your co-workers and to other uh, volunteers. It's so important this year that we must be kind to ourselves and to everybody so that we make this event happen and make it successful. Okay, so that's my part. I don't think I overrun too much. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay, so we take questions now or later? later. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you so much, Brenda, for, for sharing and for everyone who has any questions, please send your question as Q&A and we will try to answer and we'll try to consult every, each question later on and um, after John's sharing. And we apologize for um, the technical issue just now that some of you couldn't see, see the screen, but no worries because it's just special phone or laptop setting. We'll post the video recording and a PowerPoint on the website later on. So stay tuned to worry about that. And so here we introduce another special guest today, okay? He is 36 years old, <laughs> but he has joined Austrian Chair Walker for 12 years, 12 years consecutively since 2009. And his slowest hours is 31 hours and his fastest is 16 hours and 27 minutes. And instead of 36 years old, actually, let me tell you a secret. He is indeed 
63 years old. <laughs> but he's supposed to spend 60 hours something. Isn't it gorgeous? So here, welcome Mr. Jonari. Yeah. Here we'll share about how can you finish the 100 kilometers in the case of four. Healthily and happily. And he'll give us some tips about proper tra uh, planning, training, and execution. Thank John, you. please. Welcome, John. Thank you. I saw John is very handsome with our <laughs> new event team. And this yes. is our show <laughs> team. Yeah, we just turn it back and show everyone. Okay. Team. We've got a gorgeous design this year and we've got different colors. So hopefully everyone will be happy. So here's the keyboard, John. Thank you. Okay, good evening. And uh, it's my pleasure to present to you today uh, about a trail walker, an event that is very dear to my heart. And that is why every year since 20, since 2009, yes. I've taken part in each and every session. Now, first thing, a 100 kilometer event is difficult. That is a very important fact you need to understand that it is difficult. And because it's difficult, once you understand that it's difficult, then the fact that it is difficult should not matter anymore. You should plan because it is difficult to avoid getting into a difficult situation. So what are the lessons that uh, we can learn from uh, the 12 consecutive OTW events? Okay, I need it to move. Well, what is the goal of uh, the event? It is for a team of four people to complete 100 kilometers in 48 hours. It is a team event, and that is extremely, extremely important to remember. How you handle a team event is different from how you handle a solo event. Okay, so this is my, our team from 2018. You can see four happy people preparing for the challenge. And then, yeah, our goal is to have fun along the way. The only way to counter the difficulty is to make it a fun event. So you can see along the way, this is uh, in section two, still smiling and we smiled all the way until the end. Okay, so we finish as a team and uh, very incredible. It's a journey that needs a lot of planning. It's a journey that needs a lot of preparation. Now, first thing you must remember that it is a fundraiser. Different from other events, it's a fundraiser and therefore you have to plan uh, for that as well. And Finishing in full team is extremely important. It's a team event and our goal always is first finishing full team before we consider the time for finishing. It's a serious challenge and it's a difficult challenge. And the only way to be successful is to prepare very, very well. Make it fun, just as you have seen in the photos, um, don't be too serious, go out and enjoy yourself and you will have fewer negative thoughts which come sometime along the journey. Okay. Respect the organizer's rules. Uh, you've had all the rules that have been shared. It's extremely important because it is only by respecting it do we make a meaningful event for everybody and pave the way for future more events like this. Trail Walker is quite interesting in the sense that with the proper planning, with the proper training and proper execution, you do change as a person. It's a very, very emotional event in some sense, and it helps you to know yourself and it helps you actually to face many other challenges in life. If you can do Trail Walker, you can do anything. Now, I don't know where you are with your planning, but the planning should have started. Plan now. You have got a team of four people. Allocate responsibility. Who has the responsibility for training? Who has the responsibility for admin, the registration and all that? Fundraising, 
And all this need to be moving along at the same time as your training. What is your expected finish time? What is your fundraising goal? One of the reasons uh, I've attended every tail walker for the last 12 years is because we always try to raise at least 36K so that we are always guaranteed a place for the coming year. And that allows us to get to know ourselves more and more through each, uh, each event. There's some essential gear that you will need and uh, I'll come and talk more in detail about that. First important thing is to know the route. For example, you, Brenda shared that uh, we'll have a new checkpoint um, uh, at uh, CP3 uh, at Kalingha. It's important to know where that is. So when you arrive at the checkpoint, you do not waste time finding out. There will be directions, but it's important even while you're training to know that uh, at some checkpoints, there may be some slight changes from the previous years. And this is for you who are doing it for the first time. Um, it's a hundred kilometer long, starts from Saikong all the way to, uh, to Taitong. And uh, it winds through many, many hills, at least 23 hills, including uh, some very steep ones. And if at all possible, try and do your training on the trail so you're familiar with the different uh, terrain with the different uh, elevations so that on the day of the event, you're not surprised. Okay, next, we look at uh, some of the key points. You have got 100 kilometer and uh, imagine that you've got 100% of your energy. How are you going to spend this 100% of your energy? It is very interesting that every year when people start, there are some people who start by sprinting. They sprint and then 400 meters later, oh, they're too tired to continue. You have got 100 kilometer, you need to pace yourself. It has got a, quite an easy start in the sense that uh, until you get to the dam, it is mostly flat. Consider that the energy you have has to last you until the end of the 100 kilometer. But on top of that, there are a few steep hills you have to go up. So pace yourself. Do not go faster in the beginning than you can go at the end. Face yourself and have a smooth race. One of the key things is uh, the uphills and the first challenge comes when you reach uh, section three. There is a Kai Kong Shan, which is uh, 399 meters high and it is steep. And it seems like it goes on for a long time. Do your training on the steep hills and be prepared. After, when you come to Kaling Ha, the next thing that you're facing is uh, Mount Shan. Mount Shan, you start by climbing on the road and it goes up and up and up and up. Be prepared during your training to know that I need to have some energy to go up Kai Shan. After that, there's quite a lot of up and down. Section four is quite challenging in the sense that even though it's only 12 kilometers long, but it actually, for our teams, it always takes the longest time. So be mentally prepared that from the time you reach, you leave CP3 until CP4, it will take you a few hours. So pace yourself, ensure you have enough water, ensure you've eaten enough and also carry enough food because that is a very challenging section. After that, when you get to Shingmun Reservoir, you have got Middle Hill. It's a hill in three sections. And every time it, you think you've reached the top, there's another top to reach to. So as you train, you'll be aware of this. After Middle Hill, you go up Grassy Hill. Again, it's sloppy and it continues for a long time. Then after that, you get to Leadmine Pass. And then the highest peak is Time Ocean. Our team, we always scream when you get to the time of Shan, because after that, it's mostly downhill. Have fun along the way, but know the route well. Okay, next. Know the route, and between now and the event day, you've got about six weeks. What do you do during these six weeks? There are two types of training you need to do. One is training for fitness and training for endurance. The distance is challenging, 
The uphill climb up and down is challenging. And for you to survive this, you need to be fit. What would I do at six weeks to go? I would have at least two days of training every week, plus a long training on the weekend. The two training any week, every week does not have to be a training of your hiking or of your running, but you need your whole body to be fit for the event. So you must have a mixture of uh, what we call CrossFit. If you do swimming, do swimming. If you do biking, do biking. Do different kinds of sports so that your body is fully fit. On the weekend would be the time to go to the trails and know what section one and two is like, section three and four, so that you are able to cover all of the different sections in preparation for what will come. Very important, do not overtrain. When you overtrain, it can lead to injury. The resting time after training is as important as the training time. Do not undertrain. If you undertrain, you will not be well prepared for the event, and it is very easy to get an injury during the event if you undertrain. So you need to have a balance between uh, training and resting. Know the route, graduate and training schedule, and then train as a team. Why is it important to train as a team? Because for good chemistry during the event, it is good to know the different personalities of the people, the different ways in which they act under stress. If you know each other as team members, then you are better able to support each other. For example, one time uh, we had a team member who did not want to be left behind. Every time he was left behind, he would become very slow. So during our training, we knew that, oh, this team member, we must always put him in the middle or at the front. And once you know this, then on the event day, it will be much smooth. Know each other. Trail walker is highly emotional event. If you don't know your teammate well, it can be more challenging than it needs to be. As you're training, you must remember that for this year, support teams are discouraged. So you, among your four team members, you need to be self-sufficient, not only in supporting each other by encouraging each other along the way, but understanding what do I need to carry so that as a team, you have everything that you need. All this advanced planning will make the event day much easier. Okay, next we move to uh, cardiovascular fitness is important because of the distance. Unless you're one of the very, 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 very fast teams, you will do some, you'll be on the trails during the day and you'll be on the trails during the night. Night is totally different from day. The distances, the shadows, and everything is totally different. So your training should include day training and should include night training. During the night training, you should be uh, able to test your night lamps. If you're having a headlamp or you're having a hand light, test them during your training. Do not wait for the event day to try a new equipment. Cross training, we've said is important. Therefore, it will help you with your full body fitness. Okay, uh, to avoid injuries, be familiar with the trails in the daytime, be familiar with the trails in the nighttime, do cross training for full body fitness, strong core is always very important, do not under train, do not over train, have resting time in between, and in the event of any injury during your training, please get the help you need. If you need to see um, somebody for massage, a chiropractor, a physiotherapist, get it dealt with. If you come to the event with an injury, it will only get worse and worse. Take good care of yourself in preparation for the event today. Make the training enjoyable, but serious. Use the training time to fine tune your time plan. For example, you do section one, how long did you take? It's good to make a record of this so that as you're going for the event, you have a rough idea of how long it will take you to get into the next checkpoint. Nutrition, what will you eat during the event? It's wonderful that you will have a list of what is provided so you will know what to expect. And it is good 
to get familiar to eating what you will eat on the event day. Because the, your body will react very differently to stress than during your training. Be prepared. What gear will you use? You decide this during your training. What's your hydration plan? You decide this during your training. Okay, I'll go into more details about this. So nutrition, extremely important. During your training and during the event, replenish your energy regularly. Do not wait to get the checkpoint to eat the food because some checkpoints like between CP3 and CP4, if you are very, very fast, it might take two and a half hours. For some, it might take five hours. For some, it might take six hours. Therefore, do not wait for the checkpoint to eat food. Make sure you carry some food with you so that regularly, every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, you are eating something. If you reach a point where you are extremely hungry, then you'll have to sit down for a long time because whatever food you consume takes about 15, 20 minutes to help you in your moving forward. So don't wait for your energy level to go to zero before you consume. Be consuming something regularly. Whether it's 20 minutes or half an hour, decide among your teammates. The same with water. Rehydrate frequently because by the time you're thirsty, it is too late. You need water before you get too thirsty. What are your sources of calorie? Very important. Look at the Oxfam uh, food list and decide what is suitable for you and decide what you will eat at the checkpoint. You need to hydrate, you need electrolytes. It's wonderful that this year we have got uh, Pokari being given in different places. So you'll have both water and you'll also have uh, electrolytes. Study the food list, study the drink list, decide what you will eat on that day. Your appetite on the day will be up and down because of the stress of the event. Having upset stomach during the event is very, very common. Your body is a wonderful, wonderful creation. And under stress, your body will take care first of the brain and then of the heart. Things like the digestive system will not be a priority. Therefore, you may find that digesting food may be more difficult. So you have to choose foods that are easy to ingest easy for you to get um, the calories from. And then we have more carbs this year than previous. That will help us a lot. But get used to this type of food. Don't wait to try new things on the event day. The gear is extremely important because um, it is discouraged to have a support team. Therefore, you need to carry enough things to last you for the duration. Quick dry apparel is very important, like this shirt is very light and dries easily. Your shoes should be light shoes with good traction. Don't carry very heavy boots because every weight you carry will add to your stress. You'll have a backpack. What goes in it? Decide this in advance. Don't wait a day or two before the event. Will you carry poles for going uphill or will you have no poles? If you're going to carry poles, please train with poles. If you're not going to carry poles, then it's okay. Are you going to use a headlamp or a torch in your hand or a flashlight? Decide and use them during your training and see how is it to use it during your training. Familiarize yourself. The weather goes up and down. I remember the first time I did trail walker was the coldest day in November since I don't know how many years. The second time I did trail walker was the most humid day in November since I can't remember when. The third time I did trail walker, which was the time I did 31 hours, was the most rainy day in November. You don't know what kind of weather you have. Train in all kinds of weather. But a few days before the event, check the weather. And Oxfam office is always good at sending us emails with the weather forecast because your equipment, your apparel, everything should reflect the weather conditions. Be prepared and don't arrive on the day and be surprised by the weather. If you're carrying a phone, you need a battery charger for the phone and uh, all these things you must consider. Advanced preparation. Uh, what we do in our team is that during our training, we make a record of how long we take for each section. 
That way we have an idea. We will get in CP3 by what time? Okay, when you get CP3, maybe it's lunch time, so we know we look forward to eating more. When we get to a Gilwell camp, what time will it be? We know what to do with our nutrition and everything. But most important, without this plan, you can be thrown off. For example, the first time I did trail walker, we were not very well prepared with our time plan. And when it gets dark, a certain depression gets on you. You get demotivated. <laughs> but if you know that it will get dark when I'm at uh, CP3 or whatever, then when it comes, there's no surprise. It's part of your plan. The more planning preparation you do, the better for the event day. Okay, next is, what do you do the week before the event day? Some people are eager to keep training, but the week before the event day, you should have done enough training and you need to do light exercise, concentrate on stretching, go for a massage to relax your muscles because the exercise, you, the training you've done should be enough one week before. And if it's not enough, nevertheless, do light exercise. Eat well, eat healthy. And try not to eat things that are not part of your regular diet because you do not know how it, your body will react. Sleep as much as you can for the last week. It will help you because you will be walking through the night and you must be prepared that if you go with a sleep surplus, you'll do very well through the night. If you go deprived of sleep, it's going to be a long night. Sleep as much as you can. And remember that the night before the event, it's very difficult to sleep. <laughs> so your sleeping must be done a few days before. I always, I check the alarm every, oh, it's difficult to sleep the day, the night before. So be prepared, do your sleeping, advanced sleeping ahead of time. Check the weather forecast, adjust your gear, keep in touch with your teammates because you need to keep encouraging each other. Whatever happens the last week, do not worry. Be mentally prepared. The last week, the day before, there is nothing that worrying will be beneficial for other than stressing you. Be mentally prepared. Okay, next. When you get to the day, very important uh, that you have a plan for that day. Once you are on the trail, you have a team leader and listen to your team leader. It is very difficult to have four voices going at the same time. Trust your team leader, listen to him, unless he delegates the duty to somebody else. Arrive early to register. Registration is open for the five minutes before your start time. Maintain your target pace based on how you did your training. Don't start by running in the beginning. You don't have energy to climb all the 23 hills. Care for one another. Keep checking with each other. How are you doing? Do you have enough water? Is it time for a snack? Keep talking to each other, encourage each other. Be courteous and help other people on the trail as well. Be prepared to adapt. This is very, very important. Do not litter because as uh, was explained, your number will be written on many of the things you receive and you don't want your team name or your team number to be displayed as somebody uh, who litters. Okay, work together during the event very important for teamwork, support each other. At the checkpoints, you should arrive together. Do not run ahead to the checkpoint. When you do that, it is very demotivating to the person at the back of your team. Very demotivating. Arrive together. Do regular checks of your team members. You should be within eyesight of each other. And especially at night, you don't want somebody to be lagging behind. What we do in our team is Always, if somebody gets weak, get the fittest member of the team to be with them, to encourage them during that weak moment. And between a team of four, we normally circulate. Somebody has a weak moment, another one has a strong moment. So just keep taking care of each other until you reach the end. Very important. And this is the unique thing about team events. You can support each other along the way. On the D-Day, Learn to adapt because 
very, very rarely do things go according to plan. <laughs> Each and every time there's been a surprise, either somebody has an injury, either the weather is not doing what you want it to do, or somebody has some stomach upset, things happen. So what do you do? Remember to improvise. Do not be discouraged. Be flexible, improvise. Adapt to the situation and then overcome. When you get to the halfway point, always there'll be a small voice, not by a human being, but a small voice telling you, oh, this is too difficult. If I were you, I'll go home. Please do not listen to that voice because your goal is a team of four to finish the event. Okay, improvise, adapt, overcome. Remember this, it's extremely important because a 100K event will bring challenges. But if you improvise, adapt, and overcome, oh, you'll celebrate forever. Okay, what do you want to do? Mission accomplished, all arrive, and all are happy. Then you love the whole world, you love everybody, you love the trees, you love everything. It's a wonderful feeling. Okay, next. Celebrate with your friends because there are people who have sponsored you. Continue with your fundraising because this is a fundraiser and you've got one month after the event to um, submit all your donations. Join Oxfam project to us. Remember that Oxfam is playing a very important role in helping elevate poverty around the world. And from time to time, they have project to us so you can know how is the money that we donated being spent. You, they will invite you to join some tours. Keep staying fit by hiking. We love our countryside. Keep Hong Kong green and you can do it. Get it done. Thank you. Um, very helpful sharing. Thank you so much. And actually, we've got some questions from ourselves, our workers as well. Can I can I just ask you to come here again? Sorry. Yeah. And share a bit. Um, some workers is asking where to sleep on the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where to sleep on the way now? It's important for you to have your time plan so you will know at what point uh, you need to sleep. If you're going to sleep, since you're moving as a team, then you must all agree to sleep at the same time so that the one who is not sleeping does not get impatient. And remember to have an alarm clock. <laughs> or an alarm. So you don't wake up and, oh, it's Monday, and where am I? <laughs> so um, along the, the trail, you cannot sleep at the checkpoints because you need to come in and out. But actually, there are many barbecue areas along the trails which are quite safe that you can sleep. And because there are people walking up and down during the event, it can be quite safe. Um, but if you need to sleep, the whole team should agree in advance where to sleep. Do your time planning and decide where the night times will come. But at some point, you may have um, a busy, a day you don't have time to plan and when you feel sleepy agree as a team the most important is always agree as a team and um, when you're coming down for example shing moon uh, barbecue pits is not uh, a checkpoint you can sleep there and there are many other barbecue areas along the trail where people can sleep mm -hmm. yeah. okay another question is facing this unusual year mm -hmm. Do you feel yourself or a teammates is a bit different or a bit challenging mentally and physically, like not as fit as before, and how to cope with that with that changes? Yes. So this year has been quite challenging. Actually, since uh, 2019, Hong Kong has gone through some challenges, and that is why it's important to remember we are together with you through ups and downs. Uh, the training may not have gone as well because there are quite a number of restrictions during this time, but Oxfam Trail Walker is about overcoming challenges. So we do not focus on the challenges, but we focus with what we are able to do during the event, supporting each other as a team of four. So always we must think positive rather than uh, think uh, on the negative side. It's extremely important. Somebody is asking, did you sleep when you did OTW? And for me and all my team members, 
the only time we slept was in 2011. It was very, very rainy. And then with that year, we took 31 hours. It was the slowest we ever did. And when we got to CP9, uh, they had some beds at the first aid points. We did sleep uh, for about an hour. And then we woke up and we had enough energy to complete the event. But after that, I realized that the longer you stay on the trail, the more challenging it is. Mm -hmm. So we try to finish in as short time as possible and hopefully wake up in my own bed on my Saturday morning. <laughs> so, but go at your own pace. It's more important. Don't rush because you don't want to sleep. And listen to your body. If your body needs to sleep and team members agree you need to sleep, then you do it. The important thing is get to the finish point as a team of four. Great. Yes, great. That's a very touching sharing. Yes. Actually, I remember you just mentioned about um, you couldn't really excited and couldn't sleep on night before. Yes. Same as our staff, you couldn't sleep as well. Because <laughs> we even had to wake up earlier than you guys when yes. we arrived to pick time show earlier than you guys. And yes. you also get prepared mentally, physically. Yes. That's a really memorable experience. And we're looking, we're looking forward to that. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Yes. And once you've done Trail Walker, whether it is life challenges, Come busy employment challenges, relationship challenges. If you can overcome trail worker, you can overcome anything. <laughs> Thanks for the first. It's really encouraging. Thank, Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. For experience, um, trail worker. So we now invite uh, Brenda to share some of uh, the questions we just raced. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. just to go thing. Yeah, there's some more questions. Let's go for the easy question first. Some workers was asking, is there any vegetable rice balls available on the checkpoints? Yes. Are they we got some no ball? Yeah. Some um yeah, we do have some vegetable, uh, maybe some plum, sati plum. So we will have uh some available, but uh, especially this year at checkpoint three, because we got a, a volunteer uh, organization called the Sick Temple that they can only serve um, vegetarian items. So at that checkpoint, it's all vegetarians. But for other checkpoints, we have a mix of uh, meat and uh, veggies. Uh, now about pickled bullock roots. <laughs> okay, great. So the next question is, um, someone's asking, is there any marshals or signage to ensure that the workers won't go to prohibited route a long way before going to the finish point? Prohibited? Yeah, like, um, or penalty, they, they will go, is that the wrong way? Is any yeah. sign? We will put signage, uh, especially at, uh, at the, how to say, very tempting uh, shortcut point between Chapman 4 and 5. And then we will put many, many um, A3 signs, uh, signages along the way. So, so we will put as much as many as possible. So I don't think uh, people will miss them. Okay. So next question is, someone's asking, um, for the vaccination records, each member needs to come in person during 5th to 7th November, or can I ask team members yes. to show? They can, right? Can, uh, yes, yes. So, so uh, if you cannot come in person, you can send your record. Or I, I don't know, screen cap your record. Mm -hmm. And then your other member can show to us. Mm -hmm. So the record should show your name and then the date uh, that you got the vaccination. Okay, next question is, will there be any penalty for teams who still arrange for support team? Any actions that we would take? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking this so that we can explain it uh, uh, a little bit. So we, the wording we are saying is we, we strongly encourage not to have support team. So meaning we cannot enforce it. So there will be no penalty because that is not offset. That is not trail walker, but mainly because we cannot out enforce it. So we really, um, depending on your common sense and your, how to say, um, yeah, self-discipline and then we, because the trail is open to everybody yeah. uh, anyway. It's just the checkpoint and the start point, finish point, and the, those are restricted areas. Those areas that we cordon off for the event so that we cannot allow entries to non-trail walkers. 
for the rest of the trail is open to other people. So we really uh, appeal for your uh, good understanding. So exercise, good common sense. But anyway, we have all those uh, extra food items. So we will uh, reckon that people will be, how to say, exercise their own uh, good, um, how to say, judgment, okay? <laughs> so we, it's all, we're all Hong Kong people. We know what to do and what not to do. And uh, really, it's, it's good for self and good for everybody and really not to cause any inconvenience. But um, above all, you have to observe the, 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 the COVID rule because it's, it's the rule that is not more than four person in a group is still applies uh, during the event. And we expect that rule to be uh, enforced uh, throughout the trail walker days. Mm -hmm. So it's really for the good of everybody. Yeah. Okay. And other, other people, are, and another person asked me if one team member drops out, um, can you still continue with other three and finish? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, that person dropping out got a uh, drop out, and then his record or uh, his information will be recorded uh, in the on the drop out certificate. And we re remaining or uh, continuing workers uh, carry that to show the other checkpoint. But these are uh, uh, the remaining workers will only get an individual team, individual shot, not a team shot. Okay, um, so some of this is just suggesting, suggesting the existing signage on the way, maybe not clear enough, especially when they walk um, for hours already and then really exhausted and maybe easily get lost. Can we just, maybe we can just um, improve to see which location is better or clearer for the signage to hang on. And we try to, we try to um, improve on that, improve on that, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, for this question, for sure, now at the trail, there are only marker poles every 500 meters. But on the event day, we will have extra A3 size at those junctions and at those uh, uh, difficult places. So it will be much more uh, clearer. But any, yeah, yeah, and, and some uh, uh, strange places or difficult junction we have we will have refractive arrows but really i would still uh advise that you do your own training on every bit of the trail that is the most important thing because uh doing it what even once is helps a lot okay some uh, also some workers asking must the mask be surgical or our mask is okay i think so i think after all, it's in the countryside, open air. So uh, I, some, uh, how to say, normal mask would be good enough. We like don't have to mask. be. Yeah, our uh, cloth mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to be surgical. Yeah, but just just being conscious that you have to wear your mask at checkpoint, start point, finish point, just to be yeah, yeah. safe and yeah, conscious. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, our colleagues is reminding that BBQ areas, BBQ areas in the uh, country yeah, park. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, because, um, just one question about where to sleep. Uh, here we would like to remind that the barbecue area should still be closed under the COVID because it's like a, how to say, a, a, a law or a rule under the government arrangement. So um, try not to enter those areas. But, but when you really need to sleep, find a safe place. Uh, well, I, again, exercise your common sense. <laughs> because I really think that uh, Hong Kong people, especially trail walker, are having very good common sense. They yes. do good judgment because that's 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 our 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 how to say our observation. Um, good people are at trail walker, mm -hmm. so don't worry. Yeah. Just, so just last point to emphasize that uh, we've got so, so many new arrangements this year, so many workers may feel, oh, they are so so strict or whatever, so rough. And, but actually our event is has to be follow government rules in order to have our in-person events to happen. So just please be understand, please understood um, and be considerate and please work with us to make sure this event can be happen safely and happily. And just one more, one more reminder that uh, we have a collection of participants and packs uh, on 5th to 7th November. Um, uh, it's actually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We send our emails to um, uh, uh, about detail picking up number beep 
some event information, the quick drive t-shirt, energy food, and COVID-19 specimen pack. So we send email for pretty details. And for people, for workers who may have listened, uh, who, who wish to get more information in detail, you may also feel free to, to join our Chinese briefing tomorrow night at 7.30, same time. And uh, we also have Brenda talking in Cantonese. And also we will have um, experienced super trail worker, who's a female <laughs> worker, who will be sharing her valuable experience over the past years. And feel free to join us tomorrow as well. It's Samantha, Samantha Chen, Chen yeah. which is a famous uh, runner. So just last word, mm -hmm. um, as we reckon, trail workers probably, uh, how to say, the, the, the biggest uh, trail running event uh, in the few months to come. Because uh, quite other, thing, uh, other trail events has been either go virtual or canceled. So this trail worker event would probably the, the large uh, big scale trail event. So we are preparing for that. We are all gearing up. Um, but by the end of the day, it's all about trail workers. It's, it's, it's really your preparation that counts. And uh, so eat well, sleep well, and uh, stay healthy, stay healthy and, and, <laughs> and uh, be happy, really. So enjoy every day, enjoy every moment until we see. And then uh, we'll be there. We'll be there helping every, not, every one of you. So it, it's going to be happening and it's going to be happening beautifully. So we'll see you. Yeah. And just a final, final reminder, the, report, um, the video recording and the PowerPoint we will share, we will upload on the website shortly. And so please stay tuned and be patient and we upload the PowerPoint later on. So don't worry about missing anything. We will try to put in every detail on it, okay? And so stay healthy, stay happy, rest more. Right. And we'll see you in, I don't know. How, less, less, than, than less than two months time. No, how yeah, how less than two months time. How 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 Okay. I'll see you. See bye, bye bye. Sleep well tonight. Bye. bye. Thank you, John. Thank you. Bye. Oh yeah. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.